Greetings, my name is Samir Madani, working here at Devado, here to present you our latest breakthrough and that is support for 4G LTE USB modems. This is the first of such kind and that's the Huawei E398 model as sold here in Sweden and in Austria. Uh, initially we've added support for it in our Devado 3GN router and as you can see here this router has a Ethernet, sorry, wireless LAN uh, antenna multiple Ethernet ports and a single WAN Ethernet port. Uh, the WAN Ethernet port allows you to connect the router to a, a fixed broadband network and do failover to and from the 4G network. So place this router now next to the windowsill here and we are in a zone right now which is not perfectly uh, covered with 4G access so these conditions are going to be pretty much uh, reflective of what's out in the real world. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, demonstrate the low latency uh, that, that is inherent within 4G LTE. And that means the low response time between uh, you as a user and the radio network. If you have a very high response time, that means that your experience of the internet won't be really real time. Instead, you'll have to wait for certain images to download and, um, and your online gaming will be um, extremely impeded by, by high latency. So you want something that's very real time. And this is what 4G is capable of. So to demonstrate that, we'll do a video call uh, between a computer which is connected to the router. So this computer is on 4G, whereas this computer is on an office connection, uh, which is regular Ethernet. So we'll go full screen here. And as you can see here, so that's 4G and that's regular uh, internet. So I'm waving my hand and you can see minimal uh, latency. So it's very real time. And so this is very key if you're going to be online gaming. And for those of you who have uh, game consoles such as Xboxes and PS3s are going to be delighted about being able to use this as your primary internet access when you're out in the countryside or on a boat or whatever you want to have the low latency so excellent quality finish and what we'll do now is a speed test and I'm sure everyone's curious to know the speeds and as I said this is a this is these conditions are pretty much uh, realistic to what people will be experiencing So this website, Brebanskollen, is, is the most used here in Sweden for speed tests. And as you can see here on the downlink, we're measuring 21.5 megabits. Whereas on the uplink, we're measuring a fraction of that. Around 2 megabits. Though we've seen spikes in, on both and this 3GN model uh, handles 30 megabits in, in either direction. The latency there, if you can see, 32 milliseconds. So, uh, yet again, we've seen um, lowest latency being at around 11 milliseconds and the average being around 20 to 25. However, let's see how quickly we can download a file. So now we're connected to a FTP server here in Stockholm. Uh, we're going to download this file which is 187 megabytes and at the mana you can zoom in there on our DU meter see the speed climbing up there we have it 23 megabits holding steady and this file, you can see the progress. It has elapsed 25 seconds and only 47 seconds left. So this file, which is 187 megabytes, takes roughly a minute to download on a 4G LTE network. Thank you very much.